Hello and welcome to the channel. The Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has ordered the arrest of former governor of the state and shifting of the All Progressives Congress APC, Adams Oshiomole, for inciting the people of the state, which resulted in their violent protest against the Naira rebranding. Recall that on Wednesday there were violent protests across major streets in the state capital, Benin City, when youths came out en masse in protest of the continuous hardship brought upon by the Naira redesign. Banks were burnt, ATM machines destroyed, cars were burnt, properties torched, looting, disruption of vehicular movement, which resulted in three deaths after all was done. Now, Governor Obaseki has fingered Oshiomole as the instigator of the crisis and has ordered his arrest. The Edo government had on Wednesday joined in a suit filed by three states against the federal government and CBN. But the state, together with Bayelsa State, joined as respondent in support of government on its policy, which many are attributing to another of the reason, aside the obvious one, why the chaotic protest happened in the first place. Subscribe, like, share, comment, thank you. Obaseki orders Oshiomole's arrest. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State has ordered the arrest of his predecessor, Adams Oshiomole, over his alleged role in the protest that led to the destruction of banks and the death of no fewer than three people in the state. Obaseki, in a Wednesday statement by his Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Neikare, alleged that Oshiomole, a chieftain of the whole Progressives Congress, mobilized thugs to vandalize banks and disrupt the peace of the state over the Naira scarcity. The statement read, We have been around the city all day speaking with the protesters and we discovered that it is more than meets the high. At this stage, we call on security agencies to arrest Adam Zoshiomole for questioning and to account for his movement, especially here in Benin City in the last few days. He deliberately instigated the protest of the people. I know people will see the protest as a result of scarcity of Naira notes, but even if that is the case, Nigerians should know which political party is involved because it is ironic that the same party that is responsible for this policy is still sending people to destroy People's Democratic Party billboards. But in a swift reaction, former governor of Edo State, Adam Zushiomole, has denied an allegation that he was behind the protest in the state. Speaking at a press conference in Benin City, Oshiomole's media head, Victor Oshioke, said his principal is not responsible for the protest in the state, saying that the call for his arrest is unnecessary. Oshioke added that the former national chairman of the whole Progressives Congress, APC, didn't make any statements to suggest the protests that erupted in the state earlier in the day were because of him. He said, if Oshiomole used the word intimidate, he said they should intimidate them with their own campaign. He said they should not leave the space in Edo for other parties because Edo is an APC state. The short video is everywhere. If they have the whole video, let them post it and judge it with the short one they have. Did he say demonstrate? No. Oshiomole said they should intimidate them with their own crowd that the APC crowd should be able to intimidate other parties' crowds in Edo. As we speak, Oshiomole is in Port Harcourt. Yesterday, Tuesday, he was in Imo State, and he went to all these places from Aoshi where he has been campaigning. Is there a protest in Aoshi or any part of Edo North? Oshiomole is busy campaigning for the APC presidential candidate on a senatorial ticket, and he did not instigate anybody to riot. Oshiomole didn't make any statements to suggest that anybody should riot against anybody. He is busy campaigning to a donut people for a senatorial ambition and for Tinubu presidential race. The Edo state government is rattled and nervous by the acceptance Oshiomole gets anywhere he goes to in Edo state almost eight years after he left office against Obaseki's and Shoibu's government who had failed woefully. 
if Oshiomole did not instigate people in the past election in the state, why would he now instigate violence when he is contesting and the people are with him? Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, starting from March 1st, 2023, and those states will be going fully cashless as cash transactions within the government parastatals have been prohibited. Nigerian News gathered that the Edo state government in a secular on Thursday announced that the cashless policy would commence on March 1st in the state. It was learned that the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, during a code of ethics engagement with senior management staff of the Edo state civil and public service, disclosed that beginning March 1st, 2023, the state government would prohibit using cash in government offices. According to the governor, as part of promoting transparency, the government is pushing towards a cashless policy. Obaseki explained that I have issued a circular that effective March 1st, government offices will be prohibited from using cash. The government is pushing towards a cashless economy. So, why must the service dodge transparency? We should be able to explain every amount we spend and how we earned it. We believe in the civil and public service as without you, we cannot have a functioning government. That is why we have, in the last six years, made your welfare a priority. We pay salaries and pensions on the 26th of each month. We have refurbished your work environment for optimal service delivery. Today, our civil and public servants are the most technology compliant in the country. We are deploying resources to ensure that every local government is connected via fiber uptake before October this year. We have a crisis in our hands where we are trying to change and improve things for you. Most of you want that, but a lot of people still behave the way they used to conduct in the past. If we struggle every month to make sure you get your salary on time, why must you now feel that focusing on other areas, trying to make money from other areas illegitimately, is what we should still be doing by this time? The level of waste and corruption in our public service must be reduced. If you need us to do more and make more resources available, then we must all agree to work together to cut down on the waste and the corruption in our system. We also must agree to be fair to the government and the people who pay the taxes. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.